Hello and welcome to this short video presentation. Today I will show how powerful it is to use one of the ClearSight Analyzer features which is called the multi-segment analysis. And you will see not only how powerful it is but hopefully how easy it is. Let's assume that we have made two different captures of the same conversation flows but from two different locations. For example, the first one on the client side and the second one on the server side. What we want to do now is to do the ability segment analysis. So let's open these trace files but instead of opening them individually I will merge them into one single file. So let's select these two traces and I will assign a different segment name on each of them because even though I will merge them into one single file I want to be able to recognize what was actually captured on the client side and what was captured on the server side afterwards. The other interesting feature here is that even though I did not use any synchronization mechanism when I created my two captures I can use this auto sync button here who will do it for me on a post analysis mode. Now let's actually merge them into one file which I will call my merged file. OK. So let's open my newly merged file. OK. I can see here some FTP, some Oracle, and some SMB. But only the FTP traffic conversation was common in both original capture files. How do I know that? Because if I go to combine flow, I can see that's the only flow which was common to the two captures. And if I select it, I can actually see the details of all the conversation from the client side, from the server side. And I can see how much time it did take for the SYN packet to traverse the network in one direction. What was the response time of the server? How much time it did take for the CNAC answer from the server to client to traverse the network in the other direction? What was the client response time? And so on. I could analyze everything here uh, manually, I would say, by just looking into the whole detail of this conversation. But what I can simply do is just click on report. If I just click on report, what I will have is a report showing me the contribution of the server, the network or the client to the overall response time experienced by the end user. Actually here the network is not even appearing in this graph which means that I would say that 65 to 70 percent of the time was due to the server and the rest from the client side. Network was absolutely very performant here and I can save this report in PDF or editable format, rich text format so I can add my own comments afterwards and send it to whoever it is relevant to send to. Hope you didn't find this information useful. Thank you very much for your time and talk to you soon.